Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Anastasia. Welcome everybody. Today I am working with Ellie's brand of balloons and setting up for New Year's setup. Kind of ring in the 2024. Can't believe how fast time flies. I hope this year will be wonderful for you. I hope it will be filled with peace, love, hope, and God bless you all. Let me scoot you in, let me talk about what I will be using in this video and like usual, everything that I will be using, I will link in the description under this video. Don't forget to check it out. All right, so without any further ado, let's go. So as we can see here, I am working with black balloons in different sizes. So these are 14, 11 inch balloons, and I believe we have some five right here. So this is the only color that I will be working with from Ellie's. You often ask me how many balloons I use in my installs. It's very hard and it varies because every balloon artist is different, every technique is different, and it's hard to tell how many balloons I use because if I use 200, you might be using more or less depending on a technique that you're using and what you're planning to build. So here I have all the balloons that I've been sent. These are 14 inch balloons. They come by 50 balloons in each bag, so I have 250 here. 11 inch balloons come 100 balloons per bag, so I have only one. So it's 350 and five inch balloons, so they have 100 balloons in one bag. So 450 total. Will I use all of them? I don't know, we'll see. I bought a very simple frame. This is typically used in gardens. So I wanted something black, I wanted something simple. I will link it in the description under this video. It came from Amazon. I am taking some chicken wire zip ties and I am zip tying this chicken wire right over here. for that chicken wire are these so i went on amazon and bought some ferns as you can see these are really really pretty i don't like these these are natural flowers natural greeneries they are just painted i would not spend my money on these and i have these guys over here kind of like a filler and then this is not enough so i went scouting i went outside i found branches i found dry hydrangeas that i have around my house growing that i didn't cut when i was supposed to cut them and i've repurposed everything that i found so let me show you so here are my hydrangeas that i picked or cut from my bushes I simply took a black spray paint and I spray painted them and they look absolutely fa fabulous. I didn't hit every single flower that are on the hydrangeas because it's simply impossible. I still see a little bit of brown, but it's not going to ruin the setup. So I have a few of these. I also found some branches outside. So this is one two and three. I will try to incorporate them into this setup as well. Again, it was so hard to paint them, spray paint them because uh, yeah, you need to twist and turn them until you hit every single surface on your branches. Also, when you're working with natural dried flowers, be careful, they are very fragile. And uh, last but not least, another thing that I want to use again i found this outside outdoors when i was looking for my branches i found the this tall flower ish kind of like with flowers uh grass super tall super pretty it reminds me of a uh, baby's breath but this is wild grass and i have one too and uh, this one something something and also this one fell very similar to the bigger one but in a smaller size so whew, 
they shed. They shed a lot. <laughs> So I got a whole bunch of disco balls in different sizes. So I am attaching them to the frame with zip ties. Okay, I wanted to add 2024 in foiled silver balloons and I thought I got the smaller size but they're way too big and they're not going to fit in this little section. So what I'm doing is, this was my B plan, these numbers. These numbers I am not too happy about that I'm going to be using them for the setup because they light up with a yellowish color and I don't like that because this is not what I'm going for. So this would have been perfect. I don't know. We'll see.
about the frame that I was using. You guys, if you're looking for a stable multi-use frame, do not get this one because I don't know how many times I was trying to catch this thing. Uh, put weights, if you're using, if you're gonna be buying this arch, put a lot of weight on the bases of the arch because it's not gonna stand. Whenever I was trying to attach more balloons and I would pull a little bit, this frame would and will lean if you will try to do something around it or with it. So just keep in mind, if you need something cheap, something quick for videos and for your own use, this will be it for clients I don't recommend. And this is what I have for you guys today. This is my setup to welcome 2024 and see what it will bring. Very classic, very sophisticated, absolutely love the black color. Thank you, Ali's uh, brand of balloons for sending me some balloons to set up this gorgeous setup. Love, love, love this flower piece. I love how bursting it is and how full it is and goes out so far and i really like that i put some of the disco balls on the ends of the branches it gives a little bit more sparkle so these letters they don't look not letters numbers they don't look too bad with this yellowish color uh you can't see it that much but i wish i had something silver instead of this color but it looks great all right you guys so let me know what you guys think about this setup this chair came from wayfair a while ago and this rug i got it on amazon i will link it in the description under the video all the sizes of the disco balls will be in the description under the video and also I will link a, an Amazon storefront that I have and you can browse through and see what kind of supplies I use for my setups and where I get the stuff that I use. <laughs> All right, you guys, have a good one. It was a pleasure to make videos for you guys and inspire you all. So have a good one and I love you all. Bye.